Hello guys, this is Magic Train, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. We'll also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for 007 Agent Under Fire. We are using large frame buffer, 2560 by 1440p, native, 16x anisotropic filtering, mip mapping is off, full direct video recommended is on, advanced settings and hacks, we've got nothing on and shader configuration, texture filtering of display is on and FXA a shader is on. Now, this game has some slight issues. Um, you probably notice I'm using Bob T, um, Bob BFF. It's an interlacing mode that actually fixes up the um, blurriness. I will show you guys an example very shortly. Now, this game does not like it when you use the MTVU hack. Uh, it's a, um, a setting that can speed up your um, CPU, make the game more stable. Unfortunately, we have to play the game rawly because we cannot have this setting on, or otherwise it has major stutter and it's unplayable. Um, now, this game targets uh, 640 by 448. Now, if you play this game on software mode with interlacing um, mode on, as you see, the game causes a shake, so it's best to not play on software mode with an interlacing mode on. Now as you see, sorry about that, uh, as you see this is what the game looks like at this resolution. It is quite blurry and there's a load of aliasing everywhere, especially on the ground. That'd be the lack of anatropic filtering because you can see right there. Now let's have a quick look at um, native 1440p. Before I do, I want to mention this game does target 60 frames and does dynamically change to 30 frames on specific levels. As you see, I am on foot and there are some sections in the game that make you drive or you do some driving levels and all driving levels target 30 frames. All uh, levels that are on the ground, as you see me running around, target 60 frames. So you will definitely notice that when you play this. Alright, let's have a look at native 1440p. Now as you see the game looks a lot more cleaner, clearer and a lot less aliasing. Now there are still some minor drops, the frame counts on the top right corner of my screen are getting 58 frames and it doesn't obviously look ni uh, 60 at all. If you look over here it's very nice and smooth but if you look over here it's not. Now this could be easily solved if the MTV you hacked fully worked but it doesn't but hey it still actually manages to run quite well. I don't mind if I die, I'm just running around. Here's a shield right here. Now the HUD, as you see the bottom left, the elf, uh, is still, well, it's, the game came in 2001, so I give it credit for actually looking alright, but it's quite blurry and blocky at the same time. But let's have a look at native PS2 now, as you see it looks a lot more uh, blurrier, but that's okay. Kill this guy. Oh, that big red light. Yeah, so this is this is obviously this resolution. Um, runs quite well actually on software mode. Most games don't like to run well on software mode. Let's have another last look at native 1440p. I do want to mention one more thing as well. Since this game, I don't know if it has anything to do with the frame rate, but some levels also want you to change the interlacing mode. Just click on F5 on the keyboard, as you see, and um, it changes the... Um, the um, interlacing mode. Some games prefer Bob TFF. Some games, pref um, some games. Sorry, some levels prefer Bob TFF. Some levels prefer Bob BFF, and some levels prefer just the basic auto. So if you're playing this game, you got to be sure to keep changing that if you want to keep the image crystal clear. If you don't care about it, otherwise just leave it on auto. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. See ya.